Okay, in this video we're going to go over something called uh, geometric measurement and dimension. Sorry about the focus here. Let's try that again. There we go. So we're going to go over something called geometric measurement and dimension. We're going to talk specifically about the circumference and area of a circle, and then we're going to talk about the area of a sector. Okay, so let's start with the circumference of a circle. The circumference of a circle is simply the distance around the edge of a circle. Okay, so the actual distance. And that's a pretty straightforward, um, let me just go ahead and write that down, pretty straightforward formula. Circumference. And that's simply equal to, and it's usually donated by the letter C, and just equal to 2 pi times r. And remember, pi is approximately, there's two ways to actually write pi. And that's an approximate, so I'm just going to make that wavy, 3.14, and it continues on. Uh, and that's usually just good enough for most people. Or you can also write it as a fraction, which is 22 over 7. So please be able to recognize both of those, okay? So just 2 times pi times the radius, which again is the distance from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle. Now the area of a circle, again, how much area it covers, and we always usually write that as large A. Not small A, but large A. And that's equal to pi r squared. Okay? You know, actually, I should have given you another definition for circumference. And the other formula, actually, for that is just pi times d, which is the diameter, because remember the diameter is just basically two radii, okay, just going straight across there, so both of those would work. The area of a circle, again, pi r squared, or what you see very less common would just be diameter divided by two, quantity squared, times pi, not very common at all, by the way, all right? Because just diameter divided by two would be radius, and then radius times that. Now, here's where I wanted to get, and that was the actual uh, sector. Now, a sector is an area that is bounded by two radii. So this, for example, would be a sector. Now, in order to find the area of a sector, you have to remember, and let's just do it this way, You need to find the area of a circle, okay? So we would just use pi r squared. And then you would times that by, remember that a circle has 360 degrees, okay? So let's just go ahead and do that. 360 degrees. And then however many degrees make up this particular arc or however many degrees make up the central angle of the sector, okay? So two ways to write this. Let's pretend that's A, let's pretend that's B. So you could say pi r squared times the ratio of the measurement of arc AB, remember that that's what that means, okay? Or it's also equal to the central angle of your sector divided by 360. Now intuitively that would make sense, right? Because that would be a fraction of the overall circle. So let's say for example, we know that the central angle here is 20 degrees. So we'll call that O. So angle AOB, uh, let's make it a little bit larger because it does look a little bit larger. Let's say it's actually 70 degrees, okay? Which means that my arc AB is also 70 degrees because the central angle and the arc would be exactly the same. I would go over here, put in pi, and let's just pretend that that is, uh, let's just make that seven units, okay? So seven squared times 
the arc would be 70 divided by 3, 60. Okay, and that's going to get us, let me use my calculator real quickly. Whoops, sorry about that. That's going to give us 49 pi times 70 divided by 360 or 7 divided by 36 which is point 1944 repeating and then times that by 49 9.53 pi Now some teachers accept this as an answer with pi just being the units. If you multiplied it by 3.14, that would be 29.9 units squared. Okay. And this also, by the way, would be in squared units, right? And then if you multiplied it by 22.7, times 22 over 7, you'll also get 29.94 or 29.9 units squared. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. Now let's go ahead and try a, a problem for you. Let's say I have a circle. I'm going to freehand that one. And let's say I know that the diameter is 16, and let's say centimeters squared. So let's actually use some units. I want you to find the area of the sector with a central angle of 110 degrees. Okay? And I'll have the answer in a different video. Thanks.